Welcome to Baritone Cult, you maniacs. Happy New Year. Here we go. Frankenstein, parts caster, eBay, send it, build. So, let's start out with the neck first. It's a 30.25 scale. 12th fret, got an octave. 24 frets, you've got an octave. One thing that's killer about that is, if you're right here doing some stuff, obviously you can play that, those notes anywhere else, a bunch of other places. You can move it right up to here. It's kind of a neat thing with 24 frets and I get all the way up in here. So, the next junk, it's a, it's a D and G neck. You can beat a burglar with it. It's so dang thick, it's 200 bucks. You get it, you know what I mean? I should have went to warm off. It doesn't matter. So, just, I do not care for this neck. I know somebody else who has one and said the same thing, they're thick. Some of you guys might like that. I don't know. I like a thick wallet, but who has that anymore? So, anyways, this thing was a pain to intonate. It had to be intonated under tension, and you can intonate it right here because you're not doing it up there. You know, I'm not trying to bag on anybody. Like I said, I paid 200 bucks for a neck. Everybody knows that's, you get what you get. So let's move to the body. I bought the body from Bloom and Doom. I think that's the name. It's a killer body. You've got your little bevel there for your chest. Because I play a lot. It's got to be comfortable. The body's light. Yeah, there's some nicks on it. It's relic, whatever you want to call. I don't give a crap. It's not, it wasn't very easy for me to find this. this I kind of wanted some off-white blonde thing or whatever with that. And maybe you pay more money because it's light. I don't know. But it was like $350 for the body. And, you know, that's the nice thing about these. They're not too expensive. So I, I spent money on a good body. And it was all routed out. And I bought the pit guard from them too. They shipped fast. I got here and there was no mistakes. I'm like, cool. So then um, the pickups are Seymour Duncan, quarter pound telly set. They're under 200 bucks for the set. I think they're great pickups. And single coils always rip. They're not really that loud, to be honest. And maybe that is in part two the wiring. So I bought a kit. It was all ready to go. as a hundred bucks. Emerson. And um, the nice thing about that is you got the four-way. Instead of three, which normally comes with, I think, tellies. So, yeah, I just wanted to do this because I have the um, Telecaster Bajo Sexto. They're, they're rare, they're expensive, and I'm like, I'm not going to be able to do another one of those. So I'm like, I bet I could do this for under a thousand bucks. You could probably do it for cheaper, but shoot, I'm, it's not like I'm 15, you know, I'm working and I can get, I can get a couple different parts, except I wasn't smart enough to spend the money on a neck. So we've got a luthier here in town building us one, and it's going to have two rods in it. It's just going to make all the difference, you know, so... I just need something smaller, thinner. We'll go with that. Uh, I had to get the frets leveled on it. Like I said, those guys had a pain getting this thing to intonate. There's still a little bit of buzzing on it. A few minutes later in the video, I'm going to play the thing for you. And um, with the bridge, I bought a bridge from MJT, I think, the name of the company. So they sent me this Cluston, but it's a left-handed one. So at the time, I probably had a lot going on. So I'm like, hey, you sent me the wrong one. You know, I need I need to get a right-handed one. Okay, cool. Then they sent me the right-handed one. There's no screws with it. So I sent it back, and I was going to send that back, but I just didn't have time, something like that. I had a lot of gnarly stuff going on last year. And my, my apologies to some of you guys in the comment section for me not saying hi or anything last year. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. It's nothing personal. It just had stuff going on. But, you know, back to the bridge. Um, got another bridge. So I had a couple little, you know, bumps with things. And this is an in-tune bridge. 
I don't know, they're like 50 bucks or whatever. And, um, you know, your little plate here, maybe 10 bucks. And I got them like aged or whatever. Because that's what I wanted to do. So I just did it. And the nice thing is your input jack, it can take an angled one, which I love. Because the, my other one has the one sticking out. So that's something nice. So, Cluson tuners on the neck. So if you think about it, you got your body, whatever, three, 350, whatever I paid for, a couple hundred bucks for the pickups, a couple hundred bucks for the neck. That was my mistake. At least it didn't work out for me. If you wanna see more videos on builds, go check out gear stuff and things. Steven over there has a bunch of builds he's done. Parts casters, whatever you want to call it. I think he's got that dialed in. And I know he has some more moth necks. And I think he's say, saying good things about them. So, Seymour Duncan pickups. Quarter pound telly set. And, um, yeah, I think that's about it. So, let me, let me plug this thing in and play it for you guys. <laughs> We'll show you this again in the future with a killer neck on it. It's going to make all the difference. I was getting a lot of drag on these strings. It's a pain in the ass to play. So let me grab that red layer and play that for one minute. And you'll hear the difference between supreme quality and my build. <laughs> 